What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. See, I'm trying here. I'm trying this whole YouTube thing again. Anyways, as you can see in the background, we have the S2000. Hood is propped up. Um, this thing is filthy. And today we're gonna address an issue of the S2000 that I had since I pretty much got it, but I never addressed it till now. Anyways. Let's uh, hop inside real quick. So today we're gonna be working on the S2000 and uh, I got two things for it. First thing is we got some oil, some nice O'Reilly full, full synthetic oil with the filter, Bosch filter. And the major thing is the valve cover gasket. Today we're gonna be installing a valve cover gasket on the S2000, but wait, there's more. Ah, your boy got some wrinkle red paint so we're gonna be changing the oil changing the valve cover gasket and spray uh, spraying the valve cover gasket a uh, valve cover as well uh, because it's all flaky it's the original paint from 2001 so we're gonna make it look pretty again so without further ado let's get into the video valve cover gasket I should say install and if you're asking me do I know how to do this absolutely not I've never done one of S2000, and I'm sure it can't be, can't be too hard, right? Can't be too hard. It's a four-cylinder. So let's get into it. Oh, my special guest today is Flaco. It just looks like a couple bolts. Yeah, I know. It's, it's simple. It looks like a logo. It's not like one of these things right here. No. But anyways, let's get to it. It looks to me as if there's just a 10 mil there, 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 there and some Allen screws there, there, and there, those four. And then some connectors and some hoses to take off, and that's about it. There's something about it, isn't there? That. 
Bro, how long is this? That's what she said. Oh, there's a truck out. Okay, put, yeah, it, tell it, put, put it down. Alright. Just like that, she's out. Alright, so now I'm gonna grab my degreaser, clean all this residue off, clean this valve cover nice. Don't mind actually vacuuming this car. Okay. Alright, so once you got all that soaked in degreaser, you're gonna wanna just hit it with water and then uh, after that I'm going to scuff it all down and uh, lay the paint. And after that I like to just lay it in the sun just like that and let her dry up. Meanwhile Go clean the uh, residue off of the uh, off of the head, not the block. So you're gonna want to go ahead and scrape all this residue here out of the head. Um, that way, it has a nice mating service when you put it back on. Before all that. right. Thanks to Nesta the molester. Wow. <laughs> Never fun to do. Again. He uh, <clears throat> got the uh, valve cover all nice and scuffed. Now we're ready to apply paint. But before we apply paint on the masks, you're gonna wanna mask these areas off because um, obviously you don't wanna get paint inside there. So I usually mask this off, all the holes basically, right? All the holes? All the holes. All right. So let me go ahead and do that. And uh, we got some wrinkle red here and we're gonna paint this. All right, so we masked it up as best as we can. Um, don't judge it. But now I'm gonna heat up the valve cover so that way the paint can stick better. I don't know, I heard that if I heat gun onto it, like the wrinkle will become more wrinkler. I don't know, I'm gonna try it out. But anyways, once I finish this, I'm gonna start shooting it. All right, so we're gonna shoot it now. Uh, I'm gonna probably spray a light coat First coat is going to be a light coat, nothing too heavy, so let's try it out. the second coat now it's gonna be a nice and wet coat. white wet thick coat that's where the editing skills come in part yep why does it look pink it's a Honda you see stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on all right so we just painted this thing um the Kansas allow it 48 hours to dry I'm gonna allow it probably the 48 hours so i'm probably not going to finish this video today well today for me but for you guys it'll probably be all back together same video but um yeah not too bad not too bad it's a little streaky there like you can see where i started doing the uh horizontal sprays i guess but i'm assuming when it completely dries that will all go away but overall it looks pretty oem i mean in video it looks pink almost but in person it looks darker i don't know why in person it looks more oem than the pink that you kind of see here it's got like a pink hue and camera i don't know why it's super weird anyways i'll be back probably the next clip you guys will see is me installing this thing back on so uh yeah i'll see you guys then all right so it's been about at least 48 hours, so this thing is completely cured. As you guys can see, it's nice and red. Looks more pink on video. Well, actually, kind of looks red in video, but definitely looks closer to the original color in person. I don't know why it's still a little bit like brighter. I don't know. Like I don't know. It doesn't make sense. 
but in person this shit looks like it's oem so i'm really happy about that not about the fact that this anyways so we're gonna go ahead and pop this thing back in um I gotta see if I gotta put gasket maker on the corners. Not hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent too sure, so I'm gonna double check on that. But um, yeah, let me go uh, turn on some lights and let's put this puppy back together. All right, so I'm taking a look at this, and I realized I didn't take this little like cover off for the uh, injectors. So I'm probably going to go ahead and remove that. That way I don't scratch up my freshly painted valve cover. So I think it's just two 10 mils, one here and one there. And that should come right off. And I'm probably just going to have to like try to bend this out the way. I don't know. Let's see. So I just had to double check off how to use gasket maker, but apparently I don't. So let's put on this gasket onto this valve cover. Now that you got that seated appropriately, I put the spark plug tube seals, whatever they're called. And this I picked up from um, O'Reilly's. So if anyone's curious, that's where I got it from. Um, don't know what the list price is. I got discount because I'm a dealer. Is that how they sit? Mm-hmm. It's crooked. Oh no, I'm not, I haven't firmly pushed on it or anything. Yeah. But yeah, that's how it should look like. I mean, not this one, but just for visual aspect for you guys. Um, you can take, I think a inch and a quarter and press it down with that. Let me see if I have an inch and a quarter. That's an inch, that's an inch and eighth. I'm gonna try this one. Careful of the paint. Yeah, I do need an inch and a quarter. If you find an inch and a quarter, you can just press them down with the socket um, and it should evenly uh, go in. All right, so as you can see, I flattened all these down to perfection, right? Close to perfection, yeah. All right, I guess I'm not good enough for you. <laughs> um, so I guess the way I've seen this is that somebody picked it up, like hold it, hold the sides. Kind of like this to place it on, yeah. Where's your gimbal to record this? Ah, it's in my office. All right, guys, so I got this thing sitting properly. Um, keep in mind when you're putting this on, I was trying to film and do it at the same time, but it was kind of hard to do that because I needed Astrid's help to get this thing seated properly. Remember to move these wires in the back out the way because that was like, kind of our biggest issue. But also when you have it sitting just so slightly all even, do not force the valve cover down um, because the grommets or well, spark plug tube seals, they uh, kind of get in the way. So in order to get them nice and wrapped around, just like how this one is, all you have to do is kind of just have it laying there and move your finger around it like this to get it to seat properly. And it should seat just perfectly on all four. So yeah, that's my uh, tip there. And after that, you wanna put your new grommets in. Uh, it goes here, 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 and there. Um, it's five of them. I need to clean this car so bad. All right, coal packs are now in. I believe these are the screws for them. Boom, one, two, three, and four. Oh yeah, put the sensors back on, on that side and this side. All right, let me get my 
10. are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoro recording. All right, so your dipstick goes here. Um, this goes here, like so, boom. And then your oil cap goes there. Where's the oil cap? Oh, it's right here. What's the dipstick? Boom. See, I wanted to clean this so bad, but or repaint it, but I think it looks fine. If I, if, if I don't like it after I put it on, I could always take this off. This is simple enough, just four little bolts and respray, but I think it'll be all right. And then I totally forgot, don't be a idiot like me, but don't tighten these down until you put the, the uh, harness back onto the coil pack because I forgot to do that. So if you tighten it first loosen all the bolts to the coil packs connect the connectors back onto the coil pack and you should be fine because if you bolt the uh coil packs on all the way you won't be you won't be able to get yeah you won't have room to put this i can't speak for shit today so i'm sorry guys and last but not least the coil pack cover Alright guys, as per usual, I forgot to end the video back when I was recording that clip a month ago. Yeah, this, this video is really old. I just never got to put it out there. Um, got a whole bunch of things going on right now. Anyways, uh, it's done. The valve car is done. After that uh, recording, after I put everything back together, for some strange reason I had a misfire. I was going crazy to figure out which it was, what it was. I changed the spark plugs. It wasn't the spark plugs. Um, started thinking it was something with the valves or something like that, but it ended up not even being that either. It was just coil pack three was bad. Um, just so happened that it just went bad as I was reinstalling the, uh, the valve cover on to the, uh, onto the car. So yeah, figured that out. It was just a coil pack number three. Um, car is running perfectly fine now. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, um, be sure to comment down below. I'll try my best to uh, respond to everyone who has any questions about how to install a valve cover gasket on S2000. So um, yeah, comment away. I'll, I'll do my best to, to respond to each and every single one of you. As always guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I upload every single week. Um, so if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, bell button. Make sure you guys get notified each time I post a video. Um, we're almost at 2000 subscribers, so Let's get to there. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, be easy, guys. Peace.